Wes. Welcome to this video. Today I'm excited to share with you the Canon EOS R for street photography with the EF 85mm. Now whenever I go out I always take some practice shots and I was looking for some people to take photos of and you know the mannequin in the window was very willing and obliged um, so I fired off that shot. Now the East End Kitchen is a great place and there's always people working in there and so I decided when I went out this time I would ask people if it was okay to take their portraits and try to get some more environmental portraits of people working. Uh, this girl said yes and no, she shrugged, but ultimately I found out she was okay with me taking her picture, so I fired off that shot. And I'm just getting warmed up, and I was in for my first rejection of the night. Thank you though. And uh, as I moved around um, Santa Ana, downtown Santa Ana, um, I just found some lovely people very willing to have me take their picture. I love the pink apron here. Not totally thrilled how this came out, but um, she's very friendly and let me take her picture. Um, now outside I had a couple of portraits in a row that I really just love. So one is uh, this couple, they're out on a, a date or going out to eat or something like that. They were super generous and I found that everybody uh, pretty much was up for having their picture taken. Of course, I did get several rejections, but you just have to um, ask people and be okay with being told no. There's another couple. Actually, this is, I think, a daughter and a grandfather, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And they were super uh, lovely. I think she kind of talked them into it. Uh, this group of young women at first didn't understand, and then they almost lined up, and then she said, no, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, so the sun w had just set and it was just getting dark. Um, here's another rejection. And people were just lovely even when they told you no they are very kind and so I, I was feeling good about being out. Um, there's a barber shop here. I try to get some portraits through the window. The guy on the bike, that was a cool shot. Uh, I do think he gave me the finger later down uh, he, as he rode down the sidewalk. I think he saw what happened. Um, and here's a classic vintage truck. I don't know why I didn't shoot it in uh, landscape mode. Um, and I only got part of the truck. Here's a cool guy. We, we chit-chatted a little bit um, and exchanged social media information to keep in touch. He asked if I did freelance photography. Actually, I tracked the young man as he walked away from me and I saw where he crossed the street and I, I set up another shot of him uh, crossing right in front of the headlights of another car. Uh, and that turned out pretty good, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, people are very uh, nice and encouraging and like to connect with the photographer. Um, and I, I'm going to bring business cards next time. So <laughs> next time I'm out there. And uh, here's the shot of the young man crossing the street down the block. The 85 mil really captures uh, that, um, that image pretty well right in front of those headlights. I like that. So moving on. Uh, so this part, remember this spot? I, I turn away from the, the shop, the coffee shop behind me, kind of walk out into the street. Um, and I like this venue. I just was on the wrong side of the street. And I just made a note. Uh, it was this window right here where you could see the, uh, the barista at the counter. And there's some chairs where it puts people kind of in silhouette up against the glass. And just keep that in mind. I, I come back to that uh, later and get a good shot. One, probably a, <laughs> one of my favorite shots of the night was taken there. Uh, and then I connected with a group of young men, not these, but the guys behind them. I pulled off to the side, try to get a picture of them in front of that window, but there's another group coming. Hey, thanks, man. Can I get your picture? And then we just Can started chit-chatting. Sure. Yeah, right up here under this, uh, where those lights are outside the window. You guys just hanging out? Yeah. Cool, cool. Let me do something a little artistic. Just turn and look inside the glass, like profile to me, right here. <laughs> right here, just sta stare in there, and I'm gonna get you from this side. But put your uh, flip all the way around. Yep, like that. Perfect. Right there. Three, two, one. Dope. Dope. You wanna do one without the mask? The bokeh in the background looks really great. Okay. <laughs> and then when I show him the image, his friend got interested. I wanna see it. Do you like charge your pictures and send them to people? I could just send it to you. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Can I see it? Yeah, you want a picture? Oh, can you take yeah, one of me? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just look at... 
Yeah, yeah. This is my good side, though. You want like me to shoot side. that way? Yeah, yeah. I could do that. Yeah. And come right, uh, right here where these colored lights are. Dude. Okay, that's good. Yeah, now the 85 good. mil is at its best right Bro, here. Can you send me that? Yeah. And uh, okay. it was a good uh, connection with these guys. They're yeah, nice, yeah. friendly. And uh, this tattoo shop I had seen on the drive into the parking lot, and I made a mental note because of the blue neon. But actually, I decided that I would go in and just ask if I could take a portrait through the glass, um, just to respect the people's privacy since they can't see them shooting outside. I'm good. You mind if I shoot a photo in here, just get the work to getting done? Just street photography for my Instagram? Yeah, are you cool too? Yeah, okay, all right, right on. Now it was a little bit harder to get a composition than I thought, and the glass was a little hazy, but I tried to get some uh, foreground interest with the, uh, the name of the tattoo parlor on the glass. It's a little trickier than I thought, but I liked how some of these came out. And I just hung out there for a minute. I kind of like the expression on the guy's face. You know it hurts. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty happy with these shots right here. I'm a fan of environmental portraits showing people at work in their environment. So I, I kind of like these. They're new for street photography for me. Usually I'm not engaging with people and asking if they can take pictures of them at work. But I like that, that experience. Some women came around the corner, I asked if I could take their picture, they no, said no. Okay, no and then I headed back down. I knew it was about time to wrap up. I had one last street to go down to get back to my car. Here I was trying to wait for the gentleman across the street to line up in front of the headlights. But right when he uh, was in the right spot, traffic uh, started uh, moving and cars going opposite direction blocked him. All right, so we are going back down to the last street. And here's the coffee shop I mentioned earlier. And I just love this shot. The, you see the woman in the foreground sipping her wine, the people behind the counter, and somebody else outside going the other way. Just felt kind of like a Norman Rockwell moment. And I really enjoyed that. Now, uh, when I moved across this street here, um, I saw the gentleman sitting on the bricks. And I thought it would make a good profile pic. Uh, to catch him profile so I went past him and turned around and uh, I looked across the street directly across the street and then had the camera down by my side the screen out and shot backwards and that's where I caught that it's not bad I tried to get him taking a puff of a cigarette um, and I got that but it was a little blurry so I picked that shot instead um, right here I saw the brilliant mural and the security guard crossing right under it so I snapped that off right below the star shape. I like how that came out. And then we're just heading back to the car and uh, had a good night. So if you liked any part of this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and I appreciate you subscribe to the channel. I do street photography and I Canon and Fuji videos. And I appreciate you. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you next time.